<laughs> Alex, cheers. Oh, cheers. So All nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mm. Mm. So I was just at Friendship Park, you know, at the border wall, and it seems so mm. imposing, so big, like it feels like there's so many emotions and tensions and mm -hmm. there's so much involved. Of course I feel that someone like you who's lived straddling the border mm -hmm. every day of your life, you must leave it and breathe it in a much more intense way. When you're from the border, it's, it's a very specific experience. You really have to traverse this split in your identity that's physically there. The house that uh, like my mom lives in now here in Tijuana, yeah. you you look out the kitchen window and the border is right there. We right. see the cars lined out, you know? That presence is always there. The wall is always there, reminding you of maybe like what you can't cross, what you can't get to, mm -hmm. or what's gonna take you five hours to get to. It's that constant reminder of like, your existence being questioned. When I was in it as a young, like as a like a young girl, a very young girl growing up, it didn't dawn on me how how much it would impact me now as a 33 year old woman. Right. How much I would think about it in terms of my existence, my identity, who I am and where I belong. And so when you grow up on the border, these are questions that you end up asking yourself inadvertently that are, you know, creeping into your mind. What did, do these two places have in common and what do they have different? Well, what's interesting about being from the border is that there's gonna be the things that are in common and are different. There's the, the things that are very American, very Mexican, but because because you're from the border, it's just like a mix. Right. But here in Tijuana, you see it in like the music that comes out of here and like art on the border. If you look at artists that are working on the border, they speak to both sides. They speak to that experience mm -hmm. because it, it's that blending. You see it in the food, mm -hmm. which I know you were eating all kinds of delicious Amazing. stuff all over town. Yeah. But it does feel more Mexican. Yeah, because I mean, it is. Yeah. But there's going to be certain influences. Right. I mean, look at where we're at, you know? Yeah, you could be in you, California. You could be, you could be in LA. It looks American in many ways and it also looks very Mexican. So it's all in a way, it's all very confusing. It, it can be, yes. So for example, when my mom and dad came to, Tijuana, came to Tijuana, the house that they built looks like a stucco, like a stucco Chula Vista house. Right. That's like a track home. It looked, it's an American home because to them, like a sign of, you know, accomplishment, a sign of making it was to be American. Right. And they, they were very cognizant of that. To them, that, that is a measure of success. Mm. And that doesn't mean that they weren't proud of where they came from and not proud to be Mexican in any way. But there's mm. that idea of like, what does success look like? Right. Especially in a, in a culture where classism is very ingrained. You see colorism, how deeply ingrained is that? And that mixes in with all that stuff in those mm. conversations. That's, it's part of our culture. And when you're from the border, so much of that like, class structure and everything is based on what's American. So this is actually fascinating. So okay. as I've, you know, spent time in Tijuana and I'm meeting all these amazing people that cook amazing things yeah. and I've met so many people from different parts of the country that have moved to Tijuana and it seems that the people that come to Tijuana are adventurers and go-getters and they're looking for that door to okay. something greater, to mm -hmm. an opportunity and hopefully to to go north of the border. Right, and so, because it's right there and you have so much tourism and people that come over. They... It's a place of opportunity in yeah. a way. Yeah. So did your parents move to Tijuana first because of that? No, your well, mom was My from mom's from here. My okay. dad, my our dad was working in, in the US and like coming back and forth. Like I, as a child, he was like picking fruit. His former schooling stopped at sixth grade because he had to support his family. He was the eldest, but he did come here because he had to work. He had to support his parents. He had to support his siblings. He didn't really have a choice but to come out here and work. And it, when, when you come out here to Tijuana, San Diego, wherever it is in the US or, or the city, you're coming here to seek out opportunities for whatever reason. Some people want to you know, reach some sort of fame or want to like blow or like see their passion project grow and some people just need to survive. It's a matter of just wanting more for yourself or for your children. Right. And my, for my parents, they, they wanted more for us. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the first in my, among my siblings to be able to go to college and I'm the first one that graduated from college. And, and you were the baby. And I was a baby. And, and I think that within that one generation between my dad 
never even going to, like never finishing sixth grade, to me being able to go to UCSD right. and graduate from college and have a career that's that was of my own choosing, as hard as it has been and stuff, I'm grateful every single day. What has been the role of food in this experience? Well, I mean, food is the lifeblood of yeah. our culture. Right, and, you right. know, food for me in my experience has been um, a big way in, in which I could introduce people to Tijuana and them not be afraid, them mm -hmm. understand that it's a, it's a city with amazing offerings. And it's a city that has so much to give. The first question I've always heard was like, oh, is it safe? Everything that's out of Mexico is always based on fear. But you come here, you, you eat the food, you meet people, you, you walk around and it's, it's vibrant, it's exciting, it's so much, there's so much here. So um, now Tijuana seems to be living in these glorious uh, food days, no? Everybody's yeah. coming now to Tijuana the for food the food. Is what, the food is what's bringing people more so than anything else, I would say. That okay. it's, people, they, they might come from the art, they might come from other cultural things, but the food is what really is attracts drawing. people. And so it makes me happy to see that people are appreciating what we have and what we have to offer. So, you know, I always tell my kids that as Mexican-Americans and me as a Mexican in the U.S., we're doubly blessed because we mm -hmm. inherit from two cultures, we inherit from two places, yeah. but at the same time, we have double the responsibility because we have to make not one, but two countries proud. Right. Right? And it's, I mean, through food, it's a great yeah. and tasty yeah. way to do it, and you're doing it through writing. Right. And I really, that, that responsibility does weigh on me. Like, right. it's... it's constantly a thing that I'm it's thinking about that I'm giving a an accurate representation and a, a representation that I can be proud of that my family could be proud of and that right. other people from here could be proud of right. that I'm telling our stories um, that I'm sharing yeah our food our, our our music anything it is that's that's exciting and that brings joy here right. um, and also it's it's a form of resistance when you yeah. think about it especially in these times mm -hmm. when your culture is seen as such a negative thing right. and is vilified, mm -hmm. it, the responsibility is even deeper. I, it, yeah. it feels even deeper to, to let people know that this is a good place and there's good people here and there's good things here. And I think that the great lesson is we can enrich one another yeah, and, you know, and we can have yeah. a beer. And we can have a beer you know, and cheer. <laughs> Lovely meeting you. You too. And great chatting. Yeah, same. Yeah. Thank you for your time. So excited to be here.